If you want fantastic gaming glasses that improve clarity and reduce eye strain, make sure to buy NoScope glasses using the link in the description to better your gaming experience today. Hello everyone and welcome to my 100th video. So yeah, in case you didn't know, this is my 100th video and I thought to celebrate the fact that this is my 100th video, I would be starting a brand new series in a game called Game Dev Tycoon. Now, um, I've pretty much played Game Dev Tycoon for quite a while. I can't really tell you how long I've been playing it because I can't really remember. I bought it ages ago as well. I did record a complete, well, not complete Game Dev Tycoon series. But I recorded a Game Dev Tycoon series, which we eventually gave up on. Uh, by we, I mean me and Matt. Uh, we basically both recorded it together, but we couldn't really be bothered to go through with it, so we never uploaded it. Sorry about that, but you're going to get a Game Dev Tycoon series anyway, and my new microphone arm thing, which will hold my microphone in place in front of my mouth, is here, so I can now sit in a more comfortable position while recording. So therefore, this is going to be a batch-recorded series. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And this is Game Dev Tycoon. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the gaming market. Or the PC market, or whatever you want to say. So yeah, let's get on with it. Before you can start your adventure, you need to give your upcoming company a name. Now this is the bit that I was... Uh, not sure about 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 doing what should I name my company um again I'm not I'm not really sure so I'm just gonna go with the staple I'm just gonna go with the pros it's the one and only the pros named after the channel and I'm just gonna call myself George because that is my name in case you didn't know um, and there we go I'm just gonna change my hair don't know what to probably that I'm not sure I don't even know sometimes I'm gonna have this I'm just choosing these randomly by the way and yep yeah, male definitely settings let's have a look at this game length 35 years fast paced or 42 years yeah I'll just keep it to the recommended I might do more than one series on this game depending on how much I enjoy it in this series so yeah let's just continue on with this Unlock hints. Since you've played the game before, you can use all the previously gained hints to this new game. Yes. I will do that just to make my life a bit more easy. Now, start off with, let's develop a brand new game. It's going to be a ninja. Uh, a ninja game. I like ninja games. We're going to make it a ninja action game. And as you can see there, that's one of the hints coming into play. It says great combo. <coughs> Oh god, sorry for sneezing. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's one of the hints coming into play. It says great combo, cost is zero so far. I have 70k to start off with my business with. It's pretty good. Uh, platform. So all these hints you can see are coming in so far. Action plus plus, strategy plus plus. I have an action game on my hands. So, um, the problem is, right, the G64 has more market share, but it will cost a lot more money to develop a game on. Whereas the PC has a little bit less market share, not actually that much less in fact, um, and it only cost 5k. And I also have all these uh, hints on it, because the last few games I've been playing on Game Dev Tycoon, I've basically just been making games for PC. So, may as well start off with PC. What shall we call this ninja action game on PC which will cost 10k to develop? Um, I'm not sure. What should we call it? Let's just call it Shinobi. Because that is uh, the way that you say ninja in Japanese. So there we go. Let's go. Instead of text based, we're going for 2D Graphics V1. This is our first game we want to invest loads, loads in it. It's not actually that much. Um, in the future, we will be able to invest a lot more money in developing games. Because we will have a lot more money overall. And yeah. So, there we go, 2D Graphics V1, and let's start the development of this game. Now, he's making these bubbles, which go into the design and technology uh, aspects of this game. 
and so far we've got one design and one technology so here are my hints coming into play again these sliders are basically used to manage the amount of time you spend on certain things so what my hints say is that you definitely need as much engine as possible plus 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 uh, the gameplay is plus plus but we don't know what the last one is so let's just put it about there so you know we spend that much amount of time on the gameplay less in the engine but more than the story and quests and apparently you don't need story and quests so there we go let's just put this to the bottom the question marks are to be figured out that's the reason this is bold and these are slightly more faded because these still need a little bit of researching to be able to figure out if they are absolutely true or not so yeah Let's press OK. By the way, this first video, in case you haven't seen yet, will probably be 20 minutes long, as this is my 100th video. But uh, the other videos in this series will be 10 minutes long to just, you know, keep keep it as a normal series. My Minecraft series videos are 10 minutes long. So I think you're used to that format at the moment. And here we are in the second, sta the second stage of development. There we go, English sometimes. Um, so I'm going to do that because... You know, artificial intelligence says plus plus plus, level design says plus plus, and dialogues have no thought on them so far, but I'm guessing they'll need to be lower than these two as these have pluses on them. So there we go. Let's just press OK and see what happens. So far he's created one bug. At the end of all the game development, you can iron out these bugs and yeah, just, just create a better game without any bugs in it. So here we are. These are, this is the selected features column and it tells you how much this stage of development will cost. Um, so once I press OK on this, uh, it will deduct 5k from my overall cash amount. And yeah, beca because I'm spending 5k on basic sounds. So there we go. Graphic like that, sound like that. We'll design a bit of a minus because that's what it says there. And there we go. A lot of people starting their series will not have as many hints as I have. That's because I've just been playing a lot previously. And some of them might not even be using hints. But I am because it just makes it a more enjoyable series for you and me. As you can see there, 13 design points, 14 technology points in this game. Looks to be a pretty good one. Um, as you can see, all these, these are the skills that we have leveling up. The skills that we have in engine, graphic sound, everything, and my overall level. And you can see how much XP we've gained in all of those. These uh, XP amounts change depending on the amount um, of time that you have spent in game development working on this certain part of the process of making the game. So, as you can see, 79 is, is in story and quests because we didn't work much on story and quests. So here we go, let's release our first game, Game Review. First reviews for our newly released game, Shinobi, came in. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh. We've got eight. That This is because we use hints, by the way. It makes it a lot more enjoyable for you and me. And we've got a seven in that one from Informed Gamer. Enjoyable seven, Game Hero. And a six from All Games. So our highest was an eight from Star Games. Uh, they're focused on artificial intelligence, so this game very well. These aren't very useful comments, but we'll get better comments in the future if we do things badly. And yeah, let's just close this menu and see what happens when we release our new game. The Pros, a newcomer to the gaming industry, has just released their first game, Shinobi. The game received favourable reviews. With such a good start, the Pros are sure to gain fans quickly. Okay, let's see how much we sell. How many units? Boom! 5.7k units, 5,725 units in the first week on the, par on the market. We made it into the charts at number 30, rank 30 as you can see there. Fat Shinobi was so successful that we now have 23 fans, we've got fans. This means we will have more people definitely buying our games overall, because more people will feel more compelled to buy our games as they are our fans, so there we go. Shinobi has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold, this is an important milestone in the history of the pros. Now what you can do is generate a game report. This will give you research and also those hints that I was talking about. It will tell you more about the game and create those hints. Um, which will help you in game development to create better games overall. So there we go, 22. Our post-release analysis of Shinobi is complete and we got the following results. Dialogue seems to be not at all important for this type of game. So that would be a minus minus or a minus minus minus. And yeah, should be... 
should be pretty good. Game history so far. This we've got a seven. We made 83k profit. And one, two, three, four, five, six. We're only in the sixth week of sales. And we've got 63 fans from it. So let's get on with having a look at some research. Um, I'm not going to get a new topic yet. That is because purely because I want to get a custom game engine and we already have all these topics so far as you can see. So let's let's try and move on into a different genre and see what we can use. I'm going to pick a military one. Ah, military one. Right. What genre should I choose? <sighs> military strategy. Let's make it um I'm going to go for PC again, by the way, because I just like PC, and it costs a lot less money, and yeah. And everything works well on it. Look, look at that. Action, plus, plus, adventure, plus, 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 RPG, plus, plus, simulation, plus, 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 strategy, plus, plus, plus. So, um, it's on PC, military strategy. I'm going to make it basically an RTS. I don't know what to call it. I should really make this a play on words to make it any good, but um, I can't really think of any play on words at the moment, so that's kind of awkward. Uh, real, real time explosions. There we go. And I need to redo that entire thing because I actually didn't need to redo that entire thing. But you know, I just I'm just gonna do it anyway. Right, the music's kicking in here. Real time explosions is gonna get started in development. 2D graphics v1 as always to get that skill up. Um, who develops text-based games these days? Am I right? No one exactly. Um, so yeah, not these days anyway. I don't know what time this is, but you can probably tell from the car that he has, and many many other things from the fact that we're only just moving into 2d graphics and games so yeah in the comments if you can be bothered to figure that out tell me what time i'm playing this game in but i won't know until like i don't know however many episodes in the future because i'm batch recording this so i'm gonna put the uh the slide is like this because it says gameplay plus 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 so i'm putting that to the top obviously sorry crisis minus and the engine somewhere in the middle so here we go let's get started on this game he's scratching his head um, when they scratch their head, it's really annoying because it basically means that they're not doing anything and it just wastes time. So, yeah, let's let's get on with it. And there we go. That's the first stage finished. Four design, four technology. So I'm just going to adjust the sliders. And dialogues have, like, none of those. Actually, legit none of those. Um, there we go. I think this is very similar, these uh, hints are, compared to action. So kind of wondering but you know whatever it's it generating 1032 132k in sales overall that's pretty good um i'd say that's good for uh, my first game ever i i would be happy about that if i was a game developer so yeah i i just would there we go let's make this i don't really know what to call this this shape let's call it like a like a boat shape. It's a boat shape. That's the that's the shape that the boats are. But yeah, you know, whatever. You can figure it out. Plus 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 minus. There we go. Let's get started. We are obviously including basic sounds as you just saw there. Um, and Governor G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Well, I'm not going to make stuff for you. Because even though you are selling uh, more than a PC, I'm just going to make stuff for PC because I know that's the one that will come through. Because the Governor G64, even though it does say flexible hardware configuration, it doesn't move with the times. So I'm just going to keep making for PC. Deal with it. Boom. Experts say this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Well, it's currently 2015. If you're watching this in any other year except for 2015, hopefully it isn't in the past because you'll be a time traveler. And if it is in the future, you will know the exact same as me. The Govidor G64 does not do very well. Uh, it kind of collapses. So, I don't care. It's not going to deal with it, mate. So, I'm just going to iron out all the bugs in this game now. I'm not too sure this was a very good game. I don't know why I just sat there doing nothing for ages. No. Uh, when, 
when you get higher numbers than uh, a previous game, every single previous game, it comes up with a uh, new record underneath these two, and it makes a cool sound. But unfortunately, no, it doesn't. We haven't had any new records this time. Hopefully, we'll get a decent amount of sales to carry on making our next game, and maybe even get a new record. So there we go. Uh, let's generate a game report. It said question mark because we haven't got any reviews yet, but let's have a look. I'm not sure these are going to be very good reviews. Seven. That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> six. Less varied opinions this time. Another six. And hopefully we get a seven. Yes, their focus on level design served this game very well. Well, okay, that's good. That means we should focus on level design when making strategy games. Thank you for that. Boom! Immediately got 23.8k from the first week of sales. I, I couldn't see what rank we had, but you know, whatever. Military and strategy is a great combination. Story quests seem to be not very important for this type of game. Well then, let us develop a brand new game. Once I get to 50, I want to research custom engines because, you know, those custom engines. Always the best. Always the best. I'm going to make a history adventure. That will probably be a good one. And another one for PC because... I love PC. Um, all right, history adventure game. What should we call it? I think this is the most hard part of game development in this game. Just like sitting here waiting to try and figure out what name I'm going to call a game. Name, game, 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 name. Um, um, you know what I'm going to do? Box Edge. Because, right? Words. Right. The, the reason I'm calling it Box Edge is because there is a game that's a history adventure called Skyrim. And it's been very successful in case you didn't know what Skyrim is. It's a history adventure game, as I've just said. Um, and it's called Skyrim. So Skyrim, sky boxes, obviously. God, box. And then, so that's the sky bit. And then the rim bit, edge. Same difference. Rim, edge. There we go, box edge. Boom, hopefully this will do pretty good. 2D Graphics V1, obviously. Who makes text-based text games these days? No one. Story... Man, I can't speak today. This is still the first episode and I still can't speak. Um, <laughs> you, better, you better feel like, you know, the next episodes are going to do really well when you can't speak in the first episode. So, story slash quests, level 1. Obviously, because I haven't leveled these up yet. Plus, 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 so I'm just going to put that to the top and do these in descending order. I honestly don't know why, but, you know, hopefully we'll get some hints to, uh, to tell us in the future uh, what what I can do differently. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento, which is Nintendo, but, you know, no copyrights, is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we're eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. So yeah, that's the uh, the N64 or whatever the heck it's called. I don't know. Right, dialogues to the top. Boom, level design like that because it's an adventure game. Obviously, you want decent amount of level design. No artificial intelligence. Uh, it depends what kind of level. It depends what kind kind of adventure game you're creating. But you know. Sometimes you don't need artificial intelligence, sometimes you do. Obviously, in these kinds in, that you create in this game, you don't. Because it's telling me that I don't. <laughs> Alright, graphics there. And sound a bit lower. It only has one minus, so I'm still going to put it there and not put it right to the bottom. But, you know, it's pretty much quite near the bottom. So, yeah, there we go. Obviously, a lot of world design because adventure games, it's all about looking at the stuff around you and looking at the world around you and having a great time walking around a world. My gosh, I'm getting worse at developing games by the look of it. Look at that, my god. Right, it sold. It generate. It didn't generate anywhere near as much. It's probably because uh, not many people are on PC anymore, but... Stop making more bugs! My gosh, I'm just going to do that because this game is terrible. I'm going to get horrible reviews. I need to level up something. The next game I make will level up something. But look, I have 59 research. Game reviews new games boom I told you it was terrible <laughs> five 
Fives. We're getting fives all round. Yep, another five. Are we going to get another five? Oh, yep. Falls a bit short. Well, I hate you. Adventure games work well on PC. I was just a casual. I hate you. I don't.